Made in the USA. What exactly does that mean? And how important is that to us? Hey everybody, it's Bo with X's Jeeps, and we build badass Jeeps. Unless you've been living under a rock for the last six months, we've been living in a global pandemic. And if this has taught us anything, it's kind of pointed out where a lot of these parts come from that go on our Jeeps. So in this video, we're gonna explain some of that and talk about some of the products that you can bet are almost 100% made in the USA. Made in America. So first, let's talk about what exactly does made in the USA mean? I don't think it means what you think it means. As you saw in the box in the beginning, there's a sticker that said made in the USA. That quickly identifies that that product is mostly made in the United States, but it doesn't always mean that it's 100% made in the USA. We live in a global market a global economy. And that's great. We should, right? Let's all live as one big happy family on this planet. That means that, you know, some country trades us some product and we make something out of that product, which I'm good with that. As you saw in that box, uh, there's some poison spider aluminum fenders. That doesn't mean that the aluminum came from the United States. It most likely came from somewhere like Jamaica. Uh, and then it was refined here in the United States and then built by poison spider to make some fenders. What made in the USA actually means is that a majority of the product itself is made in the United States. Like in that, maybe 90% of the product is actually manufactured and assembled in the United States, while the other 10% comes from somewhere else. And that's great. The other claims are assembled in USA. You keep using the word. Now that is exactly what it sounds like. It's probably a bunch of parts, majority of them from overseas, not a minor minority of the parts. And then it's all brought here in shipping containers to the United States, put together, and then sold to you as assembled in USA. I don't know exactly what those percentages are because really, according to the Federal Trade Commission's website here, it's kind of all over the place. In fact, you don't even have to get approval to make these claims. They're sort of leaving it up to the manufacturer to be honest about it. Imagination. Be really careful when you're picking some of these companies out to put on your Jeep and do a lot of research on your own. Is that USDA organic or Oregon organic or Portland organic? It's just all across the board organic. A really great example of what I'm talking about when I'm talking about made in USA or assembled in USA is gears themselves. A lot of companies finish gears in the United States, but they don't actually forge the gears in the United States. There's founders all over the world, Italy, India, South Korea, all over the place. They forge the gears, gears are sent here, and then the manufacturers finish cutting the gears, boxing them up, and showed them out to us. That's about as good as it gets. So why is it so important to buy American-made Jeep parts? Well, I can tell you that when we started Exodus Jeeps, this was one of my core beliefs in the company, that we would sell, within reason, American-made products. We did not want to support overseas companies because I'm a veteran, I'm a patriot and I love this country. So I wanna make sure that every time we make a sale on somebody, we're putting money back into Americans pockets. Like I said, as much as possible. Remember when I talked about the percentages of things that are made near America? It's almost impossible to 100% build something in America. I'm talking about from A to Z, that's really, really hard. But we're gonna do the best that we can. It's super important to me that we're putting money back into Americans pockets so that those Americans can put more money back into other Americans' pockets. We wanna build this country up to be as good as we can. That's quality of life stuff right there, right? Every time that we buy something American, we're reinvesting in other Americans and they're gonna live better lives too. Something that else I wanna talk about is the quality of the product. It's super easy to spot a product that's made overseas versus one that's made in America. A lot of times the tolerances will tell you that. A bolt hole on a bumper that's maybe an eighth inch oversized. That doesn't go like that. Sure, it installs a lot easier because there's so much room to play with when you bolt it up. Oh, it took five minutes. But that sucks when you go off road and you hit a rock with that bumper and there's so much play in every bolt hole that it moves up and it dents the Jeep. And now the body's got a dent in it and that sucks. But sorry about your car, man. It, it sucks. Well. Most American companies that build bumpers build really tight tolerances. It's harder to get them installed because it takes a little bit more to get those holes lined up. But once it's lined up, the bumper's not moving. Higher quality in the product. If you want a list of a lot of great manufacturers that manufacture a majority of their components are here in America, 
Be sure to check out the description. We're going to put a list of some of our favorites in there. And guess what? We sell them on our website too. So go over there and buy some of them American-made products. Well, that's all we got for this video. If you want to see some other videos where we're selling some badass American-made products, click here.